Hey, welcome back to another Pancho Things. Alrighty, so I'm set up in a really cool spot right now. I had number one pick on this hunt today for my drawings. So I'm in a really cool setup. I don't have that much cover initially, but I do have a lot of areas that I can move around depending on what the birds are doing and how they're flying and patterns and whatnot. So let's get started. So as I was saying, it's really dark, I don't know if you can see me or anything, but it's 5 in the morning, shooting lights at 5.42. I got in a really, really, really cool spot. The cool thing about this spot is that they have a lot of reeds and a lot of vegetation, so I can move around if I need to. Now, I saw another party walking close by. Hopefully, they're not too close to me, but well, let's see. And so it begins. so far no luck there's a lot of bears flying but nothing nothing is pumping the brakes it seems like I'm close to where they were um, where they were roosting so they're pumping up all the energy out so let's see I think I have a Rudy want to move too much. There's some birds walking. Bigger birds. I think it's time for me to hide a little better because the sun now is coming out and I'm a little bit too exposed. I'm gonna go to this corner here. I'm a little bit more concealed. Yikes, this is not looking too hot. Oh boy. And I'm so in some really Sticky mud too. That thing is nature's crazy glue. Holy moly. Oh well, let's see. Let's see. This is it's not looking the hot. <laughs> but oh well. Let's see what we can do. This might be the day I get skunked. Hey! Get the jacket with and everything else. 
we go. Little Rudy. I'm on the board. Didn't get skunk. Yesterday, um, in this refuge, uh, they were they put down like 400 birds, 50 mallards. So that might be the reason why this is so slow here. We don't hear that many shots either. So, not me. Nothing that I'm doing wrong is birds are not flying. I think I got another Rudy in the front. Shoot a Rudy. Oh. If we start flying on his own, I'll take him, but I will try not to to go for it because they don't have a great reputation. The one that I took the other day, I haven't cooked it yet, so I don't know. It's food anyway, so... Come on guys, let him work down. Jesus. Sky Boston. Come on. Work the birds, man. Trying to get him down. <sighs> that is super frustrating. Cause they they just sky bust. So give the opportunity for those birds to come down and be in a in a in range. It's gone. Branches were in the middle. Couldn't take the shot. Ah, super, super dead. So I'm probably gonna give him a couple more minutes and then I'm probably gonna pack up. Because nothing is flying, so. I'm going home at least with something, so. I didn't get, I didn't get skunked. Well, I'm gonna, gonna pack my stuff and, and go home. But that's about it. So yeah, not much birds flying. It was kind of really, really, really slow. And a lot of people have left already because it's bad. I think it's about eight o'clock or nine o'clock. So I'm gonna pack everything up and I'll see you at home. Alrighty, so I'm back in the house, back with my comfy clothes. Today was a cold one. Uh, kind of got a little chilly there. So let's go over what, what happened today. We had really good expectations. There was a little wind, uh, not so much, but there was a little wind. But there was some drop in the, in the temperatures. So we were expecting some, some dogs to fly decently. As most people know if you hunt in Southern California, this is only my second season, so I don't know what is considered, until when is considered early season. 
So there's not much of a migration happening right now. So pretty much we're hunting local birds. So that for one end was again to us. You kind of have to fool dogs that have seen pretty much every human possible and every decoy known to man. So that is kind of tricky there. We also had once again another issue where we got people just sky busting and guys, please, uh, I'm just learning and I want to learn the right way and I want to do things in the right way. If you are in the same spot that we are where there's not that much bears flying or stuff like that, you only want to make it worse just a sky busting. So at that point what you do is spook the birds that are already high and you give them no chance to actually come down and work for you or for somebody else. So there was quite a bit of that today and it's kind of unfortunate because if, if if we have in consideration that we get overall 20 dogs coming in range, um, that gives opportunity to people to shoot. But if we just start sky busting, then those opportunities are gone. Yeah, you might hit one. It will take you probably six shells to, to hit one. But then that's that. So you lose, you hit one out of overall 20, 20 birds. Ah, uh, you do the math, you know. Yeah, the weather said that we will have northeast winds and uh, that wasn't the case. The wind was coming actually, uh, we had a south wind and it was variable, so it will move will move through the day. And that made it a little bit a little bit tricky. With the spot that I was hunting, it was super, super muddy. So the spots, the spot that I originally picked to sit down, uh, it was good until the sun came out. Once the sun came out, I had to move and try to find a little bit more cover because I was extremely exposed uh, on that area. Now, early, 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 early morning, the brush that was there was sufficient enough, but once the sun picked out, I had to just get out of the way. So that's that. Uh, go, come home at least with something and I use my roots to make jerky. I'm probably gonna make a video on how I do mine and you guys can take a look and come along. Uh, but that that was it. That was the day. It was a was a long, long, long day. As you all know, I get out of work and just go straight to hunt, and almost three hours away from from any refuge. So it, it puts it puts a lot of stress just trying to get there and, and get you guys to see uh, the filming. And then when you get in, you get in this situation. It can be quite a bit frustrated. But there was a couple of birds that took a look that were a little bit out of range, and I try to call them and try to work them back, but they were all over the place and. It is what it is. So another another hunt in the books and happy to just be out there and just 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 try and try to be better and learn more and and just make things happen. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. That's the only way that you're gonna be able to support me and, and help me out to make this channel better and and learn as I go, at least with the hunting. I got a couple of things going on uh, music related and with my reptiles so i'm going to be dropping some more videos uh happy thanksgiving uh, it's a little little late but happy thanksgiving to everybody and we'll see you in the next one Bye,